Hey everybody. It is Thursday the 9th of February 2017. It occurred to me yesterday that I yak and I yak and I yak about Northwoods. I keep going on about it being my number one blend and I talk about it. I use it to blend with other tobaccos. And I realized that I have never done my own um, video about Northwoods. So I thought I'd better do that. Um, I don't like calling my videos reviews. Um, when I do my cigar smokes, I don't call those reviews either. I don't uh, consider myself to be an aficionado. I just like to share my own experiences. So um, I won't call this a review, but I will give you my opinions. Um, of this fantastic blend. I'm smoking, smoking, <laughs> I'm drinking some Earl Grey t uh, tea in my Danish pipe shop mug. And for this smoke I will be using my beautiful pipe from Paul Menard, my Paul's pipe freehand, what would you call this? I guess we'd call it a freehand, just a freehand. Um, it's almost a church warden, it's got a lovely long stem. And uh, just look at that beautiful swirly, you can just get lost in there. Beautiful swirly stem. Caramel, cream and caramel. Coffee and cream. Beautiful sandblast, stroke, rustication. Plateau on the top. A beautiful pipe. So, to the um, tobacco itself. Now, oops. By the way, this leather tray is agape. Um, Custom leather. Very, very useful trays. I'm just going to turn the music down a bit. So, you can see some nice bright Virginias in there. Black Cavendish, obviously, and some Cyprian Latakia. Now, I've seen a fair amount of reviews over the, uh, I don't know, however long I've smoked it for. And a lot of people talk about it arriving wet and having to be left out. Um, but I don't find that. I find that um, most of Boswell blends arrive in perfect humidity and can be smoked virtually out of the bag. I would say they can benefit from 10-15 minutes airing time, but really not that much more. Now, um, in terms of the jar note, bag note, tin note, I keep mine in a, a big jar like this because I have a fair amount on tap. Um, and when you open it, you get, on, with, with many Balkan blends, or Latakia heavy blends, as soon as you open it, you stick your nose in, what you get is um, heavy campfire smoky kind of aroma. With um, Boswells, you don't get that. With Boswells, you get a really nice balanced sweet smoky aroma straight away you don't get put this horrible this horrible pungent smoky smell um, and it's just I find that it's really nicely balanced um, it is ar an aromatic of sorts so you'd have to call it a crossover because um, the Cavendish is uh, cased apparently um, I don't know if it's vanilla or or what it's cased with but it's, it seems to have some kind of aromatics in there um, but for me that really lends to the whole flavor of the blend um, I find that when you pack your bowl it lights it takes the flame very very well um, and it stays lit um, you know once you've done got your char I very rarely have to go back to it so let's load some up 
The way I tend to load my bolt is I will gravity fill it initially. I'm not going to completely fill this because it's a huge bolt. So I gravity fill it and let it just give it a tap so it settles. And then I'll give it a little bit of compression. Just so that it holds together. And if I want to add more, I'll add a bit more and that's it. I'm going to use my Peterson lighter. Straight off, you get sweetness straight away. Turn that down. Actually, I haven't given much thought to the copyright issues. I hope I don't get. I uh, hope this video doesn't get taken down because of the music. What I like about the aroma actually is that often when you um, um, take a bag note or a tin note um, of a tobacco it very rarely delivers in the flavor so sometimes if you go for a proper aromatic um, let's say a cherry or a um, any vanilla any of those I find vanilla especially that like vanilla cream these kind of things I find that they really really don't deliver and they don't deliver on the promise of the aroma and um, Perhaps after an initial blast of flavor, it goes very quickly, and you end up with smoking a tobacco, which, depending on the quality of the tobacco, that's, you know, look at the quality of the smoke, really. Beautiful tamper from Paul Turnock. So straight away, flavors you get, you do get a bit of a, you get the Virginias, you do get that, you get the sort of bit of grassiness, bit of farmyard. A nice sweetness coming through, and you get the Latakia coming through. But the Latakia is not sort of smack you in the face Latakia. It really is sweet, um, being that it's blended with the sweetness of the rest of the blend, whether it's the Cavendish or the Virginias. Um, and what you get is a really nice sweet and sour flavor. What I like about this so much is that it's so easy to smoke. It's um, it's a very easy to have any time of the day, um, and uh, it's it's inoffensive. So you could smoke this, and you're not going to get your your palate is not going to get sort of overpowered by campfire smokiness. Um, so it's a type of blend that you could have any time. Um, there are times, for instance, when you hanker after a really hard hit of smokiness, and that might not do it for you. But um, it, it's still, if you want smokiness and you don't have something more smoky to hand, you'll still get satisfaction from this. On the other hand, if you don't like that sm heavy smokiness and you like something a bit sweeter, um, you'll get that from this as well. And anybody who's, um, I, I would say this is the perfect crossover blend. It's a little bit more smoky than say um, what I call a real crossover blend, blend like uh, shortcut to mushrooms for argument's sake um, that's something which is more of a aromatic if you like it's really somewhere in between it's a real crossover it's 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 a mild aromatic and mild Latakia based very mild Latakia based uh, blend whereas this is predominantly 
the main it's a balkan it's a definitely for me it's definitely a balkan blend and it's a smoky blend but it's really nowhere near um uh, uh, you know real english blends i'm talking about the pipe staying lit and not having a problem relighting it but that's because i'm talking in between so it's going out um i would say that with the uh, this particular blend the flavors are consistent so you don't have to worry about losing flavor halfway down the bowl if i had any wouldn't even call it criticism if i had an observation i would say that in the second half of the bowl you perhaps lose a smidgen of the richness of the flavor and you might sort of detect a little bit of the topping there a bit of artificial kind of topping in the um in the general flavor profile but it's really just a smidgen and it doesn't affect the, the overall experience You let it dry out a bit, there's no tongue bite. As I say, it burns very well. Um, there was another point I was about to make and I can't remember what it was. I don't know. Um, sorry, this, this uh, video is not very coherent. I did make some notes, but um, I'm enjoying the smoke. Um, so, in terms of the flavor profile, as I said, you get a bit of grassiness, a bit of fruity sweetness. You do get a hint of that sometimes. Um, and you just get the overall balance of a nice, sweet and sour smoke. Um, and you don't feel, once you're used to a little bit of Latakia, you really don't feel you're, you're smoking something really heavily smoky. It's just a nicely balanced blend. And it's just a nice flavor. You wouldn't compare this, for instance, to uh, Bob's Chocolate, which is also a, 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 an aromatic Latakia blend, but I actually find that can get quite strong um, and quite punchy, Bob's Chocolate. I, I smoked it quite a lot a few months ago. I haven't smoked it for a while. I finished the tin and I haven't bothered opening another one because um, I've just been enjoying Northwoods pretty long term. Um, but I've got some tins in, the, in my cellar. And no doubt my fancy will take it at some point and I'll open a tin of that. Also a very distinct flavour. A very accomplished flavour, Bob's Chocolate. A lot of people do try to um, get that magic um, uh, sort of crossover kind of flavours. Um, and Bob's Chocolate does manage it, but I find it to be um, stronger than Northwood's. And for me, Northwoods, as I said, is, is something which I can smoke at any time. Um, so I've kind of run out of things to say other than to say that it's a fantastic blend. It's a very rounded blend. It's a very well balanced blend. Nothing really um, dominates. It's it's a really, I suppose some people might, as I said, if they want a Latakia hit, this is not it. This is a really nice, balanced, evenly balanced blend. Um, so no surprises you know what it is and you can rely on it that's what i have found and that's really a huge testament to the blenders to the buzzwells because i've had i would say probably 10 different batches of this stuff over the last year um, and it's exactly the same every single time so they've clearly got it down to a fine art And what I find, I think as well, is a testament to how well it's made. So even though I've dabbled with mixing it with other um, with other blends, so if you've been watching my posts on IG and so on, you'll know that I've tried Northwoods with No Bite Delight, and I've very much enjoyed that. But you know what? You can dabble. Um, but, you know, if the professionals make a blend, you can trust the professionals. And this, at the end of the day, is unbeatable in my view um, 
I just saw a post from uh, Mike Blocker, Gamecock Piper. He uh, did a a yabo from Paul's pipes, the the pipe that he won on um, on Paul's recent giveaway, and he talks he talks about uh, the YTPC generosity. And I wanted to really um, give a shout out to the if I can say, in inverted commas, the older generation. I don't mean necessarily in age, but the previous generation of YTPCers. Um, people like Danny Shaw and uh, Ladon Mott, Briarblade, um, the Dagners, um, et al. Um, you know, I've come, uh, Smoking Grandpa Bones, uh, uh, Paul, Paul Menard and uh, Stogie Farts, the, these kind of people. Um, I started my pipe smoking hobby watching these guys and um, when you start off you can feel a bit intimidated and, and you don't really want to sort of you feel like you're encroaching on their patch if you like if you try to interact with them and I did experience that with one or two people when I tried to interact with them they just brush you off as if to say well you're not one of the OGs you're not one of the original guys and this is our tight knit group I've spoken about this before and, and you don't feel very welcome but I wanted to really pay tribute and give kudos to the people that do so the people like Smoke Grandpa Bones Jerry um, you know I think he was the first person that, that I ever uh, reached out to and he responded straight away um, and uh, that was going back over a year ago and um, I do find that the people that do respond even though they are they've been on the YTPC maybe five six years maybe more um, I think that's testament to their good character and, and I just wanted to pay tribute to that and um, and it's for that reason really that I do my very best as well to reach out to people or to respond to people who reach out to me who are perhaps you know also starting out I mean I don't consider myself to be a, a veteran in any in any uh, way shape or form but there's certainly still I've been on the YTPC for over a year and there's other people who are starting now and they're in a similar position to what I was over a year ago and I really relate to that and I do my very best to respond to people and to um, interact with them as much as they want to interact with me um, and I think that is really the basis of the generosity of the YTPC is people interacting with each other, with each other and giving a time and, and, and uh, you know being prepared to relate to anybody and everybody who wants to be part of the YTPC in, with good intentions and in good faith and in a good mannered way so I'm really delighted to be part of it and um, and I hope that uh, you know new generations keep coming on board and that um, all of our community welcomes them and uh, and carries on you know extending the community so I'm going to wrap this up I've gone on for too long again I'm sorry if it was a little bit less than coherent um, but I hope you've got the gist of what I was saying with Northwoods it's a fantastic blend I can't rate it highly enough if you haven't tried it, get hold of some. The Boswells are really easy to uh, deal with. They've joined the modern world by going online in the last few months. Couldn't be easier to order stuff from them. And if you're overseas, just um, send Julie an email, orders at boswells.com or boswellpipes.com. Just tell you you're overseas and concerned about uh, getting caught by customs and they'll package it accordingly. So give them a call, hit them up on the on their website. You won't regret it. I mean they've got a whole stack of blends, so by all means, you know, go through them, try them. I've tried many of them, but I keep coming back to Northwoods. In the summertime I've been smoking no bite delight. We'll see what happens this summer. I've got no idea if I'll be back on it or not, and we'll see how it goes. I have been enjoying cupcake as well. A little bit more to it than uh, no bite delight is more on a, on a drier kind of flavour side it's like a chocolate vanilla kind of flavour but it's got that kind of people who smoke it would probably recognise what I'm talking about it's got the kind of a dryness to its flavour like a dry cocoa kind of flavour whereas cupcake is a little bit more sweet it's a little bit more, more like a, it's got spices like Christmas spices in it and it, to me anyway to my flavour and it's just got a little bit more to it but it's, you know, everybody's got their own uh, preferences. So that's been Boswell's Northwoods. Highly recommended. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. And I'll catch you on the next one.